Hi, this is Jim Wyckoff for 5M, looking at the uh, outlook for the livestock market this week as we start out on a Monday. Friday's USDA quarterly hogs and pigs report was a bearish surprise. That has the hog market under some pressure here to start the week. Uh, in fact, we've seen uh, sharply lower uh, lean hog futures prices Monday morning to produce some near-term chart damage uh, to suggest that a market top is in place in the hog market. Now, we've seen choppy and sideways price action on the chart for hogs for the past uh, week or so, and that's also a bearish technical clue because that higher price volatility at higher price levels is an early technical clue of a market top being in place. And then you combine the uh, uh, the bearish USDA hogs and pigs report, and the uh, the bears have some uh, downside technical momentum as we speak. Uh, cash hog market uh, looks to start the week in a in a choppy uh, sideways fashion. We'll see how the trends develop as the week goes on. But certainly the hog market bulls have their work cut out for them uh, as we begin the week. Now let's take a look at the cattle market. Uh, the overall technical and fundamental picture of the cattle market does favor the bullish camp. However, the sharp losses in hogs that we're seeing on Monday uh, are spilling over into a bit of selling pressure in the live cattle futures. Uh, we're going to take a look at the cash cattle market trade this week. We did see some uh, higher cash trade last late last week in the cash cattle market. Not, not going to be surprised if we see some follow-through strength in the cash market this week to support the futures market. So the overall uh, posture of the cattle futures market is still still in a friendly tunnel. This is Jim Wyckoff reporting.